Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next expert interview video. And this one's a little bit different. I have not one expert, but three of them. Uh, this is going to be a video with three other clan mates in One Hive Genesis. As you guys know, the expert interview series is part of my Patreon perk package. If you're the top tier um, in Patreon, you get to uh, choose which people I interview, and also you can be in the interview yourself if you want. Uh, so check out my Patreon page if you're interested. But uh, this month, it's for September, I'm a little bit late, but uh, I got to it finally. Um, this month uh, wasn't a whole lot of input, so I just decided to do it with a few people. Um, that are in the same clan as me. So uh, let's go ahead and introduce everyone, uh, starting with uh, Devin. What's up, guys? You guys know Devin from lots of live attacks and uh, end of war streams. Uh, so anyway, next person we have is Tom. What's up, Tom? Yeah, what's up, man? And finally, we got Trigaman. I'm a scrub. <laughs> He, he's one of our Town Hall 11s. Uh, Tom is a Town Hall 9 mainly, um, although a lot of people have multiple accounts. So um, we have a lots of different diverse Town Hall levels. Um, let's go ahead and get into this, though. Basically, we're going to go through the, uh, the background of each player a little bit, and then we'll talk about some of the topics that we like to get into, uh, such as new features we want to see, the balance of the game, how CWL is looking, all that fun stuff uh, that we do every month. So um, let's, let's start with Devin, I guess. Uh, just give us a brief uh, elevator pitch about your background uh, in Clash of Clans, how you got into it, and how you got into One Hive Genesis. Uh, back when I was probably in about, I would say, 10th grade or so going through high school, all my friends were playing it, and they were all just scrubs at the game, just farming and not really knowing what's going on, and uh, that's how I started picking it up, and as I played it more and more, I started watching YouTube videos, Jake was one of the ones I always watched, and Power Bank, and that's how I really started getting into that, and uh I first came across Dark Avengers, where I started there. I was there for about probably over a year. I was one of the leaders there. And then I found my way over to here. And ever since I got here, I've never looked back. Nice. Very detailed account. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to uh, to, <laughs> to Tom. Uh, Tom, how did you end up here? You've been here for a while, so what's the story? Um, so I started playing probably like two and a half, three years ago was in one clan with all of my buddies from home and then it kind of grew with friends of friends when people went back to college, got their roommates and shit involved. Uh, one of the kids that joined our clan happened to be boys with uh, Chief Pat in real life. So that got me into the whole YouTube scene where I saw the, the competitive shit. Stayed in my original clan for I think two years. Um, and then shout out OG, uh, one Hive Genesis member, Butt Buddy. Uh, haphazardly joined our clan because his casual clan was failing and he got me uh, he was my first connection to Genesis once my casual clan uh, kind of faded away I kind of wandered with Butt Buddy around the, the realms of Clash for about a month and then uh, Double Op Buck uh, DOB scooped me over here been here ever since about 10 months now so yeah okay nice so I've been here longer than you nice um <laughs> Uh, so, Trigaman, what, what about you? I was pretty much in a farm clan at the beginning, like most people. And then, uh, yeah, basically just found Jake from One Hive on YouTube. Uh, didn't really know anybody else, so uh, just watched him and uh, got a little better. Applied to One Hive, uh, got rejected, but OHG decided to keep me for some reason. And. <laughs> You know, that's that's basically how it was. I've had other accounts in, like, Warwells, North Watchers, North Awakens, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. uh, OSG's always been home. If you don't mind me asking, uh, what's the, I can hear the accent. Are you from a similar place as Jake? I think he's from Arkansas. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Tennessee. Okay, nice. Um, okay, so that's kind of the intro. Um, so, cool stuff. You guys all ended up in Genesis, as did I. Um one of the main topics I always like to talk about is the balance of each town hall level. Um, so fortunately, we have people at pretty much all the important town hall levels, 9, 10, 11 here. Um, so I guess we can start with uh, 
with Town Hall 9. Um, uh, you guys can all answer this, but I guess Tom is probably Tom and Devin are the two main. T actually, all three of you guys have Town Hall 9 accounts, so. Rip Trig. Uh, well, <laughs> he, he, yeah, he still has the account. Well, maybe I'm, he does. I'm the Town Hall 9 degenerate running like three every CWL war. Mm hmm. Um,. So, how do you guys feel about Town Hall Nine? Do you think it's it's in a good place, and there's any changes you want to see in terms of balance or new troop levels, defensive levels, to make it a better Town Hall level for war? Um, I mean, Town Hall Nine. If you're if you're a good Town Hall Nine, uh, there's not much stopping you from tripling every uh, you know every raid you got. I mean. You get a troll Tesla here and there, I'll fuck you up. But um, no language. Oh yeah, true. Fuck. There goes my ad revenue. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, nice video, guys. I'm gonna log out. <laughs> Sorry to all the bisex twelve year old Indian fans. Um, <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's still. I mean, if you those are those are that's more for like the, uh, the higher caliber players. You know, they're gonna triple every time. But it's still there's still enough of, uh, a balance for I guess the. Uh, the casual player, which is what Supercell cares about, um, you know, having that kind of balance. But Town Hall, I, I like Town Hall Nine purely for the fact that you can kind of you can you do crazy things. Every troop you can use every yeah. troop in the game um, and kind of just make shit up as you go. So that's fun. Um, like me, like me and Trigger messing around the other night did a like mass minion attack. Um, so there's stuff like that you can do that's fun that you can't really do at the uh, the other town hall levels. Um, I mean, there's always people are always going to complain town hall nine's uh, offense is overpowered, but I mean, I don't think much is going to be f fixed in the to change that since everything is focusing, uh, you know, expanding the game to higher levels. So we just kind of got to live with what we got. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of the updates are. Uh, focused on Town Hall 11 content, so Town Hall 9 hasn't seen a lot of changes. Um, so Trig, you being a, a Town Hall 9 as well, you sometimes run a Town Hall 9. Oh, and you had two encounters with a, a tough base last war as well. Any thoughts from you? <laughs> I just suck. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, like, if you look at the statistics... It's relatively balanced. I mean, uh, of course, you know, all the 11s and 10s are going to want more scouts and this and that. So they may be biased in their opinion of, you know, make it easier. But, you know, Invite League is hitting, uh, I just checked War Match, uh, 9v9, 60%. That's, you know, I I'd say that's fair. Uh, you know, I mean, if it was something like 80, uh, it'd start getting a little ridiculous. So I, I think... I think to some extent it's it's relatively balanced. I mean, you know, your better attackers, uh, you know, as Tom said, or, you know, if it's a good attack, you're not going to fail. But, uh, you know, you still got to hit them uh, fresh. You don't know traps. So unless you're doing something I'm not doing. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is we're, we're still seeing dips. You know, we saw some in our last war. Um, and I don't, I don't think it's exclusive. We have – relatively bad town hall nines but i don't think it's exclusive to uh to our clan or to the wars we're in i think a lot of clans uh like you said the percentage at 60 percent um it's not gonna it's not gonna get uh all the town hall tens scouted um which is what ideally would happen so there's always still um there's still a reason uh th there's still a need to, for town hall nines to do better because it still benefits the uh the clan if they can uh, get the bases cleared that much better, that much quicker, and get more scouts. So, yeah, I think that good points were made, and I think it is pretty balanced, especially when you consider how so many players are not um, at the, the pinnacle of wars, and they're also just um, doing more casual wars, and it's even more balanced still for them, even lower uh, three-star rates. Um, yeah. So Town Hall 10, I think, is... Something I'm looking forward to talking about because we, uh, three of us I think run Town Hall ten accounts. Um, what what do you guys think? Uh, I guess ten versus ten. Devin, we know you've been struggling lately. Um, is it is it something? Is there a change you'd like to see, or is it a personal matter? No, no. I think it's pretty much balanced. My struggles have nothing to do with Town Hall ten being unbalanced. I think recently it's just. 
uh, new bases, new meta, more Sui Lalos, not so much more kill squads. A lot of people running Han CCs, but even with them running small CCs, there's anti uh, kill squad bases, which can really throw it off. And uh, just I think there's just a whole lot of new stuff coming into it, which is changing, changing a lot. But hopefully, I turn this around pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, the base building meta, yeah, it is, it's always changing, and I think we're at a point right now where um, we're seeing some of the stuff that used to work, people are defending against those hogs uh, more and more, enforcing the more technical attacks like the the suicide hero, La Luna, and stuff. Um, Tom, you do 10v11, I think, mostly. Uh, I, I used to at the, the beginning of this, not so much any these days. Right. Uh, what What do you feel about Town Hall Ten in terms of two stars and three stars? Three stars. I'm not going to add anything to this conversation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think my first few ten v tens. I actually back when Mitch was OP. I got like two of them. Two went two out of three. Don't think I've hit one since. But I also haven't done one in a meaningful award probably three three months. Um, I mean ten v eleven. You know, point defenses have been upgraded again. Last uh, update. I mean, you got to be uh, creative in the ways you're, you're attacking 10v11. I'm not the most knowledgeable in it. I guess I've done enough to speak about it on your video somehow. But um, I mean, <laughs> you can't you can't really spam the uh, the, the bowler smash spam is somewhat gone away, and you know uh, a lot of people are taking to the air with uh, drags or using some sort of queen walk valk um, to make it happen. Because I mean, uh, point defenses. I'm sure next update we get from Supercell will probably be like level like 13 or 14 wizard towers or something, and it's going to become even up. Um, so I don't know. You just it's just really. Uh, I mean, how we've been doing it in Genesis with you, you know, the the team effort and getting good plans. I mean, you can speak better to it than I can. You're the one that's hitting like 80 percent or something. Well, from what I've seen, um, it seems to be switching more towards queen walks and that kind of stuff it, it used to be you'd see three golems uh in a bunch of bowlers and you could just kind of surgically funnel on each side and send one up the middle for the town hall and i think it's getting harder to overpower your way not just by the new um defensive levels that we got a, a few months ago but also the uh the base layout so i think it's becoming more queen walk i think the ai has been adjusted for the queen a little bit from what i've heard um, she's not going to shoot the wall as as much as she used to, so I think that's becoming uh, something that's starting to come back. Um, the queen walks, the valk dives are also effective uh, for the town halls with buildings touching, so stuff like that. Um, dragons haven't seen quite as much, but uh, she's always seeing a lot of uh, La Luna attacks. Ten v eleven. Oh, oh yeah, La Luna, that's true. That's yeah, very that's true. making a big. Oh yeah, we had one of those this weekend anyway. Yeah, yeah. The, did it press up, didn't you? I recorded the live attack and I failed. <laughs> oh yeah, because your your queen didn't hit the town hall, right? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Uh, I've joined North Watchers recently, and they've been doing a lot of those, and it's actually very overpowering. The, what you could clear with a with a big La Luna, and then just send your heroes in for the town hall or something like that. It's really really good yeah. attack. Yeah, it's been especially for those grounded expos. Uh, now, Trig, a question I have for you that I think. Uh, the viewers might be interested in is as a Town Hall 11, if you're dipping a Town Hall 10, what in a base is going to make you hesitate and is going to be effective at defending uh, miners or dragons, whatever the, or even hogs? What what are the good things a Town Hall 10 should should try to do with their base design? Well, honestly, um, you know, the biggest struggle uh, as an 11 um, because, you know, if you look at the stats, it's, it's not a gimme at all, uh, you know, a dip on a 10. And the biggest thing is a lot of times you have to hit fresh. Uh, and, and, you know, not too long ago, you could almost count that every single Town Hall 10 was running a hound. But, you know, things are changing. And, and the fact is, you know, when you're hitting fresh, either you have to account, um, you know, for some kind of CC pull or, or something – that, that you kind of play it maybe safer, uh, if you will, on, on your attack strategy, and that can kind of limit 
uh, you know, how you're viewing the base. Um, you know, obviously, uh, fresh, you know, Tesla's uh, can mess you up. Um, you know, you run in on, on, on a minor dip, but you can't uh, can't pull the CC easily, and it's got to be dragging it, then, you know, you just uh, you just might as well rip and, and cancel that attack. Because <laughs> um, you only have one poison, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd say the biggest thing that that'll trip you up is the the awkward designs, you know, not the you know you always have the typical square bases or stuff you see or the island infernos and you know I guess when you see stuff work, people copy the basic design, this and that, but when you have those those awkward layouts, you start second guessing everything. <laughs> So I, I'd say the biggest thing is more the layout wise rather than, you know, any any specific, uh, you know, like Island Inferno or this or that, uh, that, that I could say uh, it makes you kind of guess yourself. Yeah, um, I, I had a dip fail on my base last war and I, I always have been trying to do the these weird layouts. Um, so I hate the base. <laughs> Yeah, I always get told not to run it. It's one of those um, farming bases. <laughs> I think I yell at you every weekend for that. Yeah, you and San and the whole bunch. <laughs> um, the farm guys is a war base. <laughs> I mean, it's not completely farming. Um, so, let's see, where are we? So for Town Hall 11 now, um, we've already talked about attacking Town Hall 11s. We talked about dips. Um any other thoughts on it from any of you guys? Because uh, we kind of have already started to talk about it a little bit. I think the Town Hall 11 uh, base building is very underlooked. Uh, as a clan, if you're holding a lot of 10v11 hits and you get the you get to soak up the hits there, that makes a really big difference in the war. Not clearing 11, forcing them to go to 11v11 or something like that, the base building is definitely underrated. Yeah, I think that's a very good point because it's it's right at that difficulty level it's not like a 10v10 which is you can get away with having some you know suspect bases it's right at that threshold where a really good base is going to defend multiple attacks but a bad one will get just hit by that first one and get two starred so uh yeah not well, also trickles downs into the 10v10s as well i mean some bases you can get in one or two hits, but some you may require three or four, and you're soaking up the hits up there, and you don't get those 10 v 10s. It makes a big difference. Uh, another thing in the base building you got to think about is, I mean, you don't a lot of your anti uh, two star for town hall tens kind of leans toward making you know the the 11 v 11 triple easier, um, and with a lot of these wars where an 11 doesn't go down. And, and, you know, and you see a lot of 11 v 11s to try to win the war. <clears throat> you know, you got to make sure as well that you're not, you know, making the base too easy. Um, you know, for an 11 to come in and, and say spam Lalo or suicide heroes, uh, spam Lalo kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, because this the Lalo is going to be the go-to. So you got you got to be thinking if my base doesn't get two starred, uh, they might come in for like a last ditch three star attempt. I think we had that against King Jeffrey. Um, towards the beginning of the season there. So, uh, good stuff. Let's talk a little bit about CWL. Um, we are, what's our record now? Is it like... Six and four. Six right? and four. That sounds right. Um, so, we're, uh, a win is going to be important. I mean, we went to the playoffs five and six, I think, last last season, but that was... Um, All about technicalities. Yeah, that was like that one year the Seahawks went at like seven and nine or something. <laughs> We're five and four. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're five, five and four. I thought we were six and four. Okay. Right, so, win next yeah, we're going to need some wins. Um, <laughs> how do you guys feel about CWL? Because there's, there's all these, like, alternative leagues now, like, I think MCW something or No Dip League and all this stuff. Uh, is, is CWL still kind of the top recognized league? Um or, or are we seeing a shift in in the uh, the participation of clans? No, CWL will most likely always be the top league. I mean, as much as everybody wants to complain about the admins, about the clans they let in, all the decisions they make, 
this is like the first thing that started the competitiveness in all the clans. I mean, this is all that clans care about. Nobody cares what you do midweek. It's if you show up on the weekend. So mm -hmm. no matter what the admins do, really, for the most part, I think CW will always be at the top of the league. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, to me, it's not even close. Um, you know, I know there's a couple clans, maybe a bigger name, that have dropped out for the No Dip League. And I, I like the, the thought of it. Um, but, you know, reality is I would have probably quit the game by now if, uh, you know, CWL didn't happen. And, yeah, you know, you mentioned the admins. I, I have, you know, I disagree with a lot of things that have been done. That's, you know, a different conversation. But, you know, as, as far as the basics of what it is, it's yeah, I think it's been a good thing for Clash. I think the game, as far as hardcore wars, would have died out uh, probably by now um, if that hadn't come around, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a top talent by far. I run I run an account in uh, in MLCW league, and um, yeah, the ta the talent. In the, granted, I think I think we're in like the we're not the top the clan I'm in, it's not in the top league, but the talent there by is by far worse than what you see in uh, normal CWL. You called out on us, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking do that. I didn't, didn't know that. Uh, Devin, <laughs> Devin did, I think. <laughs> Uh, when also um, Supercell has kind of chosen CWL because they're they've been promoting the invite. Um, they flew people out to I think it was uh, Estonia, I want to say yeah. for the finals. I like why they chose Estonia? Yeah, it's interesting. It looked nice though in some of the vlogs I saw. Um, so yeah, uh, CWL. I guess the consensus is it seems to still be uh, the the top league for for competitive clan wars and you know we have the the four sub leagues within it so that's a lot of clans when you think about it over the over the four different um leagues within the whole cwl umbrella um before we go into like the last little bit here any new features you guys want to see we can kind of go through quickly um i'll go last i'll let you guys talk first so um, like one or two new features, be it a troop level, a defensive change, or some new game feature. Uh, anything you guys want to see added to the game? I would definitely like a little bit of a defense boost at Town Hall 9. I, I was just listening in as you guys talked about it before, but uh, from my experience at Town Hall 9, I just do the basics, and I'm almost tripling every single time. So I think a little defense defense level there would be a big help be it a point defense or whatever just a little something to give it a little more a little more uh you know to it i don't know <laughs> yeah me. i've i've been saying bring down those uh level i think 12 archer towers um for a oh, while but uh yeah just give tunnel nine infernos and it'll be all <laughs> yes give it give it those level three infernos <laughs> Then you'll actually have a reason to use that freeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> what do you think, Tom? Um, I mean, I don't have any fantastic ideas for what to add to the game. What I ha um, this is an old Chief Pat mantra throwback. I would like to see them add more single player maps, just for the pure fact that it's like loot injection. It's just like easy. Like I don't under. It's so easy. I feel like to just design a stupid single player map and throw in like 10 levels a month and it's just easy loot for like people to get um i don't really know uh yeah that's all i got i think tom likes cheap fat yeah dude he's op, <laughs> he's OP man. bring him back to clutch clans get him on here by sec <laughs> i mean for me the this weekend um because we had some uh people busy and stuff i had to accept the uh <clears throat> you know the invite for for our for our matchup this weekend and i didn't realize how annoying um that setup is uh you know because it's you see the i guess the list of players to opt in and out uh to match the war by their trophies um just a pretty simple change to me would be to order it by town hall level so it makes life so much easier for this because that was, that was honestly a headache because I was going through matching our roster, trying to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. And 
and man, that was a headache. Well, yeah. worse is actually when you send it because you, I think when you receive it, you get the, the you hit OK and then you get a verification of what you just did. When you send it, it's like one shot. So if you fuck it up and you, the other clan accepts it and they don't notice, then you like, you kind of screw yourself. So I don't understand. They, they can have the double verification on that to make it easier as well. So you can just see in a list like, all right, this is what I got rolling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't even know that was a that was an issue because you know I'm not a co leader or anything. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. what was I gonna say? Um, it used to be based on trophies in terms of like who is in the war. Like when war first came out, the people with the highest trophies were in it. So it's weird that they're still basing stuff on trophies because trophies have become a little bit obsolete at this point. I'm about push. Yeah, and then, you know, you always have those people that opt, don't opt in or don't opt out, this or that. And yeah, it was just, uh, I don't know. It seems like it's such a simple change to make it easier. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people won't understand if, you know, if you're not a co-leader, obviously you're you're not going to ever experience that. But, um, you know, just something little. Yeah, that would be just nice on just like normal, you know, when you're setting up work to have – one that town hall level thing and then have a verification screen so you know sometimes you just click uh to spin the war just to see your your lineup and make sure you got everything correct and then if you get unlucky and you match in like 10 seconds and you didn't have the right lineup you were supposed to then you're just kind of stuck with a, a crappy breakdown yeah um, i would like some more slots for some uh base building too I mean, more there, slots or something build there, more bases we got six right now but yeah maybe like two more would be good yeah, just something. So if you were to build something and just wanted to make a, a minor change to see if it made a difference, you could just copy it easier and have more slots. And you want to be stacked up on bases, so. Oh yeah, if you get a, a few new fresh bases, or maybe you had one that held that you're gonna save a while or something. You know, it's just like, <laughs> you you hit a conundrum at the end when you're trying to build a new base and you don't know which one to delete. Yeah, and yeah. you have your home village, so yeah, I guess you can make your home village a war a war base, but. And you have all yeah. the decorations and stuff. Um, <laughs> so let's go into this last segment here before we get too long on time. So I, at the beginning, I asked you guys before we started recording if you could come up with like a Clash of Clans related would you rather scenario, uh, which I did last time. I think was a fun segment. So um, if you guys do have one, we can go over that. I'll start with my own. Um, would you rather? There, It's going to be... Um, kind of clan war attack related um would you rather have to do a clan war attack only with the knuckles on your pinky fingers so re referring to the the like if you look at your pinky there's and you bend it there's like two knuckles actually on the two joints on the pinky itself and i'm talking about the one that's lower down so just for reference there and that's the first option, attack only with your two pinky knuckles. Uh, or would you rather attack walking through one of those, like, really scary haunted houses? <laughs> haunted house. I would definitely rather attack with my pinky knuckles. I don't even know how you... Uh, yeah, I don't... Actually, that's... Do a live weird. attack right now? <laughs> go for it <laughs> I feel like you just like couldn't drop spells like that. well you have that you hear the chainsaw and then like the strobe lights <laughs> and stuff yeah that'd be oh uh, yeah crazy. I guess it's dark I guess I'm not taking into account how dark it would be I mean your, your screen would still light up though yeah it's true yeah, I've, 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 I've had haunted house what are you scared Devin scared of some clowns yes <laughs> <laughs> what about you Trey yeah, I'd, I'd definitely go with that. <laughs> <laughs> what a riveting question. <laughs> uh, um, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd, I would break the rules on the first option. So. <laughs> <laughs> did, so do you, did you guys write any of them? Uh, any Anything from you guys? I mean, I had a great one, but I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think you should say that on here. Uh, no, I didn't think of any other one, so do you guys? No, I don't have one. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You, you guys suck. 
Oh, do you have one? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll try to think of one. Um, would you rather have to attack while simultaneously uh, reading a commencement speech at a college graduation? <laughs> <laughs> or uh, I need a second option now of like equal undesirability. Um, let me know in the comments what the other option would be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, okay, I got one. Okay. Would you rather attack as the last attack to win the war? You know, in a in a CWL or whatever war. Yeah. As the best man in your in your best friend's wedding, during uh, you know the the whatever the cer- ceremony thing, or would you rather do that same attack to win the war while your wife was giving birth? <laughs> <laughs> so either way, you're just kind of like <laughs> like kind of sneaking it out of your pocket and kind of. Oh yeah, you're you're fact either way. Well, yeah. well, you can pretend to be recording the birth, like, like you're capturing it on video. <laughs> be like, oh baby, I forgot to say it. Uh, um, I feel like you, you can I feel like you might be able to get away with it. I've never been in a, the hospital room during a childbirth, but I feel like you, with all the chaos, you might be able to get away with it. I feel like standing up on the altar at a church. You're not getting away with doing well, it. It's fun. not about getting away with it. It's about winning the war. True. Yeah. yeah which, which one? Which one would you? Which pressure situation would you rather be under? I mean, you have you definitely have more of a stake in the child. I mean, I'm assuming it's your child, so you, you definitely. Oh, oh, oh. Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> be on Jerry Springer now. <laughs> um, you are the father. <laughs> But you have more of a stake in the in the childbirth than you do in like your friend getting married. So you, there'd probably be more distractions at the childbirth, but um, also more cover. So you wouldn't like because if if you if you have your phone out during the ceremony and you're like holding it up to actually do an actual attack, it'd be pretty conspicuous. Like they'd see what was going on. Yeah, so everybody's looking up at you. I just kind of thought like you know you're sitting here in the middle of the attack and he's like. You got the ring, and you're like, just hold on, guy. <laughs> I, have I have to win. I have had that happen. Like, not, not obviously not that mistakes, but during a war attack, my fucking uh, my boss like walked in, and the <laughs> and the and the phone rang. She's like, "You gonna answer the phone?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, one second. She's like, "You want me to answer the phone for you?" I didn't realize she was being facetious. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. Can you get that, man? Goes, Are you serious? You're not going to answer the phone right now? I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. And then I was like on the phone and like like knuckling at the screen to finish the attack. <laughs> Can you not see I'm mentally out of the office? Yeah. <laughs> I attacked in a movie, th- a movie theater bathroom one time. Because um, <laughs> we, were, we, were <laughs> we were watching a movie and um, I remembered like, oh, shoot, there's only half an hour left. The movie's not going to be over. Um, and that's the only place I could go, which was, like, no one would, would like, talk to me or anything. So, yeah. Because, like, I had seen my teacher there, and I was afraid if he came up and started talking to me, like, I wouldn't be able to keep attacking. So I had to go to the bathroom to do that. Oh, dude, dude I feel you. There was one time I was, uh, <laughs> I was on one of my rotations in a pharmacy, and I mistimed it, and I went, like, you know, I took a quote-unquote bathroom break, you know, with, like, you know, basically I went in there, like, 15 minutes early. So, basically, I was, I was like, back up on a base, and I'm, I'm sitting there, and it's already been, like, 15 minutes at least, <laughs> and this dude hasn't attacked yet, and I'm backing him up, so I don't even know the plan because I've been, you know, working this <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, it's probably been a half hour bathroom break, and I'm just waiting for somebody to beat this door down. Like, <laughs> where are you at? <laughs> it was so awkward because you get to the point where you're like, I can't leave and then come back in, and then that not be like, okay, this guy's skipping work or something. Yeah, that's a good one. 
uh, well, I guess we should probably end the video here before it gets too long. Um, almost forgot we were recording for a second. Uh, so that'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks to the three guys, Devin, Tom, and Trig, for taking the time to to record this kind of last minute, uh, kind of late notice. Um, so. Yeah, that'll do it for this video. Of course, we will have the October Patreon uh, perks coming out in uh, November, um, hopefully towards the beginning of the month this time. I, sh I won't take like three weeks to get them out like I did. Um, but you guys still have the um, a few more perks coming out in the next video uh, from this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. I'll let whoever wants to sign off. Later, YouTube. Later. See ya.